What's up guys, it's Dave again, and uh, I'm actually using the camera hand, ha handheld this time, just so you can get a little better, better look. And I'll go ahead and do the fir first boot, because I know people kind of dig that sort of thing. So I'm just going to walk around it real quick, um, give you an idea of what the MacBook Pro looks like, even though you've probably seen it a million times. Of course, it's the top of the case. Still sitting in its box, I literally just got this maybe 10 minutes ago. So that's pretty much it. Go ahead and back around the other side. And it's time for the first boot. So, uh, no charge. I'm assuming there's a bit of a battery charge. It usually is. Go ahead and zoom back just a bit and hit the power button. Well, this is thrilling, huh? <laughs> First boot usually takes a little bit of time. One of the things I was concerned about with getting the 15 inches, I had the 13 inch, and I wasn't too sure if it would be a huge um, increase in display size, because I'm used to the 13, and I have to say, so far, it's definitely noticeably bigger, which makes sense, two inches bigger. Uh, so that's going to be good. Um, but that's pretty much it, like I said, just out of the box. I haven't had a chance to play with it. And this is pretty much it. We'll go ahead and use English. No Deutsch. Trackpad feels pretty good, nice and smooth. Nice little beach ball action, and this should be the video. Display is really gorgeous another upgrade it's definitely a lot probably the nicest display I have definitely beats the MacBooks and definitely my iMac too so it's very beautiful okay so that's it um, one of the cool things about if you bought an, a new Mac since WWDC is that you get basically a free upgrade to Snow Leopard. Uh, it actually costs you like 10 bucks for shipping, but I will be able to get Snow Leopard for that amount. Not that it's that expensive anyways, only 29 bucks for an upgrade. But uh, so hopefully I'll be getting uh, Snow Leopard Mac as well. OS 10 includes a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. Okay, that was... If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your <laughs> Mac, press the escape key. Is he done? Okay. I had actually never waited that long. I didn't know it did a little voice over there. Um, so let me get this going again. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick run through. Like I said, initial impressions. It's very thin, very light uh, compared to my 13-inch black MacBook. The display is awesome. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I did get the... I ordered the iPhone 3GS. Uh, that'll be out. I think it's, it's the 10th today. And that comes... It should be delivered on the 19th. So in another week or so, we'll be getting a, an unboxing and a review of that. Hopefully I'll have more impressions on the uh, MacBook as well. So look forward to a video that's uh, along those lines. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment, any questions, feel free to ask them, and we'll talk to you soon. Take it easy.